You shouldn't feel anything other than me touching you. If you feel anything sharp, you let me sure you let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. She's had something here a little bump. You can slightly feel it since you can remember really since you were a little kid. So I'm not sure. I don't think it's a cyst. Not quite sure what it is. Maybe like a little lymph node that's just a little larger than usual or a lipoma, but we'll find out. Be, am I hurting you? No, I'm okay. You sure? You kind of didn't answer that right away. Oh. <laughs> Does it hurt at all? I, I felt a little pressure. Okay, then. Let, okay, you can feel pressure, but anything sharp? No. Okay, you can kind of feel heart, you know, tightness, but if it, it doesn't hurt. No. You just feel me touching you, right? Because make sure, because I can always put more numbing here. Mm -hmm. You sure? You don't sound that. I don't. I don't know. I'm you sorry. Feel more make sure I'm not hurting you, like I said. Doing just great. Right? No, yeah. nothing hurts? Okay. It feels fine. It just feels me tugging. <laughs> I do now. And I'm sorry, it's right next to your hair. You can hear me. <laughs> Apologize yeah, for I that. Can. How many kids do you have? Three. Yeah, how old are they? Twenty. Seventeen. Oh my gosh, you started nine. young, girl. I Whoa, do. you have a range. Yeah. Whenever I, I hear that, I always think about how people have to buy all their stuff all over again. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Was that last one a surprise? Like you no. Been, I, I was you were trying, yeah? Yeah. Oh. What we have here, though, if there's something under there. There we go, something under there. You okay, huh? Yeah, it's okay, fine. Good. So is it all out now? Uh, I think I see it right here. I thought I might have had it, but there is something right, like a little, like a little smooth thing. You know how you kind of feel it. There's something there that's smooth. I'm just trying to see how I can get it, pull it off, pull it out of that area with a little trauma to it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm just trying to figure out different ways of getting to that. I'm gonna put a little suture in it actually so I can pull it out. So it feels pretty firm. I'm trying to keep this in a small little incision as possible. Let's see if that won't help me to tug it, tug on it there. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. So I just hear all the noises. I going know. On. <laughs> that's why that's actually why I try to talk to you a little bit. No, oh, it's fine. I don't I worry. realize I'm the big talker. I should just have you girls start <laughs> talking. Talk about anything like I do. Mm -hmm. Then you go home and be tired of talking to people. Mm -hmm. Sorry, honey. Mm -hmm. In your way. Giving my my girl yeah. here Chris. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just the noise. Sound, I know. Sounds awful. <laughs> Nice, but it's cute. You got it. Yay. Anything else there? Yep, gone. Let's put a little stitch there. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll show you my little friend too. My friend, friend from childhood. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put one deep stitch under there. It stays in. And a couple top ones. So what is it? Uh, it looks like a little lipoma. Or, I mean, it could be like a lymph node. I think lymph nodes can kind of look like that too. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll check it out. I mean, I don't think I'll know until I put it. I look at it under the microscope. Okay. You'll have it looked under the microscope. So it'll probably take a couple of weeks for us to get the result back. But I wouldn't lose sleep over it. I'm not suspicious. You know, okay. you know yourself. Yeah. I hope you're not losing sleep over it because no. you know it, it's not. It's something you've had for a long time. It hasn't changed. It's not growing. It's not showing any kind of sign that. Mm -hmm. Let me turn a little. Yeah, there. Pull that and see if it opens. Hard to tell from that angle. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Perfect. Thank you. I've been wanting to get that removed for you years. have. Yeah. I can tell you. You're kind of like me when you do something. You're well. 
Maybe I'm a little more pushy. You're not, you weren't pushy. You were like, well, if you don't want to do it, but I kind of want to get it done. Mm -hmm. And you came all this way, so let's just do it. We have time. So we don't have another person, right? I thought we did. Okay, good. Yeah, it makes us be able to relax here because. Right, I try to get out at eleven thirty, don't I? I forgot about that already. How quickly I forget. Okay. Should I put another one? I think so. I think that's okay. Okay, let's put a little bandage on there. And dab. Uh, we'll pull back. Again, make sure just nothing sharp and comfortable. Everything's doing just great. Now you're feeling fine? I know, yes. weird. Mm -hmm. You can hear things through your head, too. Let's see something I know. Down the top, let me see. Get it done. I'm gonna just push on you like that because sometimes if it is a like, oh, we can kind of pop it out with just a little pressure around it. Mm -hmm. It's not popping out, right? Not yet, <laughs> but it might. Let me just buzz. You didn't hear a buzzing noise. You shouldn't feel anything sharp or uncomfortable. If you could pull back a little bit. Thank you. There's one little area wants to ooze there. It makes it easier for me to see. Can you pull back that way too, like both hands? Mm -hmm. Small needle here, huh? Let's see here. Okay, let me do that a little bit. Okay. I just want to try to lift this up and You know what? Can you? Oh, you can't do that because you gotta. You would need a third hand to do that. I was like, can you stretch this? Can you pull this up too? You mean you need, need to stretch it up? Well, and I can. Uh, yeah, something to help me to see. Maybe that would be. I was gonna have you hold this up, but I don't think you can do that too. There we go. Look, it's cute. I think we got a nice fully formed like Homa here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it out. Hold on. I feel like I'm having another kid. I, I know. Well, not quite the same thing. And you don't need a car seat or anything on the way home. <laughs> Is it nice that you have that 20 year old to help watch too? Oh, no. He's in. Oh, uh, he's a guy. Okay. He's, he's in Mammoth. Out. He's a oh. ski instructor, mm. snowboard instructor. Wait, really? What's his name? You know, my friend, one of our good friends, lives up there. Oh. He owns one of the lodges there, so he knows all the people pretty much that live up there. He owns. Oh wow! Yeah. And um, put that one to touch, but here it is. It's right here. Um, and we, my kids, go up there and have snowboard oh. lessons. So I feel like the guy's name was my kids know, it, but it wasn't. A little bit of a different name. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but I will have to look for him then because yeah. they were learning how to snowboard. They're like nine and ten. So. Oh, okay. So he lives up there full time? Yes. Yeah, so does my friend too, man. They're loving it right now. Yeah, he's in heaven. Did you did you snowboard when you were? Do you snowboard? No, or? I how don't snowboard. How did you get snowboard. into that then? Was he a skateboard he's, guy? Yeah, and uh -huh. his dad is a snow, like snowboarding. Oh, okay. You okay? No, uh, it's what, a I little weird sound or? A weird sound and like a lot of pressure. All done. Take it's it mostly me too. I'm kind yeah. of pushing against you. Go with that, okay? It's gone, right? It is gone. Let me just oh, make I'm sure. So happy. Completely. <laughs> and then we're going to put a stitch there. Oh, thank you so, so much, bit. doctor. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, of course. I'm just going to tug on you, make sure I'm not hurting you, but I just mm -hmm. want to make sure I got it all. Can you, when you almost pull this edge this way, because I think there's uh -huh. something there and I want to make sure. Here I am. Just make sure that this edge is not still a little bit of it. Looks pretty good. Just in case. Maybe a little tug here too, but it shouldn't hurt you, right? No, it doesn't hurt. I know at the end there, I was just pulling on you, that's why. So you could kind of like hear, you can kind of hear something that messes mm -hmm. with your head when you can hear something. Yeah. <laughs> literally. It messes literally and, and uh, figuratively, I guess. Looks pretty good, huh? Oh, my bottom of the last look. Okay, let's put a little stitch right there. So is the one on my forehead pretty big? I'll show it to you in a second. Okay. To see it. It's all, you know, this one too, it's a, a lot of times it's bigger than what you would think it is because mm -hmm. it's under there. So I think that was, I think that was the case with this too. Mm -hmm. You'll see, I'll, I'll let you take a look and see. Okay, we'll put a stitch there and we'll be done. Hmm, I think we figured a better way of doing it, huh? That one kind of came out nice and neat. They don't always do that, but. Sorry about that. I tickled your neck. That one came out nice though. So I'm putting stitches in here that that stay in. And sometimes they spit out. Since I know you're coming from far, I won't you know you don't want to rush in here. Around six to eight weeks, sometimes a, you'll get like a kind of like a little pimple. Over okay. There. So what should I put on these? Should I just keep them dry or? Um. Yeah. You know, she's gonna give you all the care instructions. You can take a shower tomorrow, though. Okay. it be very easy. You can take a shower and you can just put a little, you can get it wet. Just don't push on it real hard or, you know, traumatize, scrub on it or something like that. And then you just put a band-aid on it. Okay. And you come after your shower with a little antibiotic equipment and a band-aid on it again. You okay? Not pulling yeah, I'm gonna I'm tuck your hair a little bit. Okay. Can you um that was faster than I thought, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> Just think about this little suture here. Can you snip this shorter like right here? This suture is being finicky on me. some fine top stitches to pull the edges and make sure they're nice and flush with each other. Now um, we're gonna, I would say five to seven days you want to take these stitches out. No more than seven you want to wait. Okay. And you know, I think I can put my my work cell number girls on the sheet and she can text me if she has any questions or any issues or 
<coughs> you can even send an after picture or something like that if you want to. Nice for our videos to have that since we're not going to see you again. Okay. I will come back for Botox oh, in okay. three oh, yeah, to see what, again, four yeah. months, yeah. right? Right, yeah, four months or so. <clears throat> Five here and two on the back of the ear. This is that baby one mm -hmm. that came out here. I think that, I'm not sure, sometimes I think lymph nodes can look like this too, so we'll check and see, but you know, from the get-go here, it looks like fat, but you know, you know, it might be a lymph node, see? It looks a little mm. bit, a little bit firmer in consistency, okay? This is that fat. See the one on your forehead? It's fat. Yeah, it's fat. That's why when and it was I big, gained mm, weight, it gained mm -hmm. weight too. <laughs> but this looks like fat. See, it's a little softer even. Wow. Okay, but this could be a little pellet of fat too, so we'll yeah. see. All right, we'll send those both in so that it's a forehead, and that's behind the ear. 